Tim from Your Six Tech. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to sync your game data on your PlayStation 5 with the PlayStation Cloud. So you might have a mismatch between your game data on one PlayStation versus the next, or your cloud data may be completely different. What you can do at any point in time is go to the home screen here, go to the game, and a lot of times I like to do this with like Minecraft or something like that, so I can access my worlds in a different location. But let's just go to Grand Theft Auto, press options on it, and then go on down to upload, download, save data right here, and select this right here. Then it's going to look at the game day data, and then we can upload it, and then download it. So you can look at the storage amount, it looks like it's the same on the top or bottom, it says the data is pretty much the same, and we can download it at any point in time. So the cloud storage doesn't have the latest version, so I can just upload it right here. Otherwise, I can go to a different game, and it's just going to say sync data. So I can go to this one, and it says check sync status of save data. So we can just do this, and it's going to say please wait. And then it's just going to make sure the console storage is the same as the cloud storage. So some of the games you have to manually do it, so Grand Theft Auto is an older game. really should probably just be a PS4 game. And when it's a PS4 game, it's going to look like this. So if I go over to Minecraft, let's do this. And then... I want to upload this to the cloud storage. So it looks like my cloud storage actually has more information than my console storage does. So I can upload this. So let's just go to upload all. And then it's going to give me an amount of time. It says, do you want to overwrite the saved data in the cloud storage? We can just go to apply all. Otherwise, we're just going to be uploading data that we already have. So it really doesn't matter. And then go to this. And we should be good to go. So if we ever access or have any kind of like problems with the game, we can just download it back to our PlayStation 5, and then we won't have to worry about losing any kind of data now. But hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If you didn't leave a big thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech videos coming up next on Your 6 Tech.